Hi everyone, welcome to another End of the Void Real Review. This time we are reviewing No Hard Feelings, the Jennifer Lawrence rom-com uh, comedy. I guess that's what you would call it. Uh, no Hard Feelings? It's a pleasant surprise of a movie that may happen to just slip under your radar, what with all the superhero and action movies that have dominated this summer. Jennifer Lawrence plays Maddie, a down-on-her-luck girl who is looking to save her home after running into financial troubles. She stumbles upon a listing in which wealthy parents want someone to date their 19-year-old son and proceeds to help them so that she can score a car to help continue earning money through her Uber job. In the process of hoping to teach Percy, the 19-year-old of the wealthy parents, she ends up learning some lessons of her own. No Hard Feelings manages to succeed because it is a smart comedy which is consistently funny throughout. Both main characters, Jennifer Lawrence as Maddie and Andrew Barth Feldman as Percy, are fascinating to watch as they take a journey to get to know each other. You have a movie here that pairs some touching moments along with slapstick comedy. What's more is that you're invested in these characters who show true growth once they both escape their inner turmoil that's keeping them from truly living their lives. They are two characters defined by their environment that they have grown up in. How they navigate and grow beyond their experiences is what keeps you invested throughout. Jennifer Lawrence flexes her comedic chops, and a lot of what I saw of her reminded me of a modern-day Lucille Ball. I was on my way to a masquerade party, went as a lady. <laughs> and I Love Lucy. Her funniest moment involves a naked fight on a beach. That's as far as I will go without spoiling this scene. Another funny moment involves a finger trap being used in an awkward sexual manner. Touchy moments are there too, like when Maddie gets serenaded with a unique rendition of Daryl Hall and John Oates' sublime song, Maneater. You get the feeling the song is her theme song of her life. This movie's message is straightforward, and the humor mostly hits unlike the previous movie I watched, Asteroid City, which was obtuse and had humor that rarely landed. If you had asked me to predict which one would be better before I watched these two movies, I know my feelings would have been surely on the side of Asteroid City. Who knew that I would enjoy No Hard Feelings so much more? But I did. True, they are both very different movies, but nonetheless, one is just more enjoyable than the other and are compared due to the fact that I watched them in close succession. If you like good performances and simple laughs, go watch No Hard Feelings and get swept away in its simple plot with a complex heart beating at its center. I give No Hard Feelings an 8 out of 10. You will have No Hard Feelings after watching this one. Thanks, guys. And I will see you again in the next Into the Void Real Review. And YouTube, don't go after me, okay? See ya. Bye.